Have you ever wondered how to make the traditional Moroccan almond and honey brie weight? This culinary delight, beloved in Morocco, is a testament to the rich heritage of Moroccan cuisine. Brimming with the sweetness of honey and the delectable crunch of almonds, Briouat is a treat that truly embodies the spirit of Moroccan hospitality. It's a sweet pastry that tells a story, a story of tradition, warmth, and celebration. And today, you will learn how to bring this Moroccan gem to your own kitchen. The first step to creating the perfect Briouat is to gather your ingredients. Let's start with our star player, blanched almonds. These little gems are the heart of our filling, providing a delightful crunch with each bite. Next, we have honey, a natural sweetener that will give our Briouat its characteristic sweetness. Then we have orange blossom water, which imparts a subtle citrusy aroma, transporting your senses to the heart of Morocco with every sniff. Now, on to the filo dough. This paper-thin pastry is what will hold our filling and give our Briouat its golden, crispy shell. Butter is next. It not only helps to bind our ingredients together, but also lends a rich, creamy taste to our treat. Finally, we have powdered sugar. A dusting of this sweet white magic will give our Briouat the perfect finish. With these simple ingredients, we're ready to get started on our Moroccan adventure. The heart of any Briouat lies in its filling. Let's start by preparing our almond filling. The first step to a mouth-watering almond filling is grinding the almonds. This is where the magic begins. Picture a handful of almonds, their brown skins removed to reveal the creamy nuts inside. Now, using a food processor or a good old-fashioned mortar and pestle, grind these almonds into a coarse powder. Make sure not to overdo it. You want a texture that's somewhere between sand and gravel, not a smooth paste. This gives our filling its signature bite. Now, it's time to add some sweetness to our almond powder. Enter honey, a golden syrup that not only sweetens our filling but also acts as a binding agent, holding our almond powder together. Pour in enough honey to moisten the almond powder, but not so much that it becomes runny. You're aiming for a consistency that can hold its shape when pressed together, but isn't overly sticky. Once you've mixed the honey and almond powder, it's time to introduce the star of the show, orange blossom water. This aromatic water is a staple in Moroccan cuisine, and it's what gives our filling its distinctive floral note. It's potent stuff, so pour it in slowly, tasting as you go. You're aiming for a hint of orange blossom, not an overpowering flavor. Mix everything together until well combined. If the mixture seems too dry, add a touch more honey. If it's too wet, a little more almond powder will do the trick. The mixture should be pliable, like Play-Doh, and hold its shape when pressed together. Finally, set the filling aside for a moment to let the flavors meld together. This is a good time to clean up your workspace and prepare for the next step, assembling the Brio 8. And there you have it, a delicious almond filling that brings the flavors of Morocco right into your kitchen. With our filling ready, it's time to assemble our Briouat. The secret to a perfect Briouat lies in the delicate balance between the crispiness of the filo dough and the sweet, nutty filling. So, let's get started with the assembly. First, let's talk about the filo dough. This paper-thin pastry dough is what gives our Briouat its signature flaky texture, but it can dry out quickly so you'll want to keep it covered with a damp cloth when not in use. All right, let's layer our filo. Take one sheet of the dough and lay it flat on your work surface. Brush it gently with some melted butter. This doesn't just add flavor but also helps in achieving that golden brown color we are aiming for. Now place another sheet on top and repeat the process. For our Briouat, we'll be going with three layers of filo. Once you have your layered filo ready, it's time to add the filling. Spoon a generous amount of our almond filling onto one corner of the dough. Remember, we want this to be a bite of sweet delight so don't skimp on the filling. Now for the folding. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice, you'll be folding like a pro. Start by taking the corner with the filling and fold it diagonally across to form a triangle. Continue folding in this manner, maintaining the triangle shape, until you reach the end of the dough strip. Seal the end with a little more melted butter. It's really as simple as folding a flag. Repeat this process with the rest of your dough and filling until you have a lovely batch of briouats ready to be baked. Our briouats are now assembled and ready for the oven. The sweet aroma of almonds and honey will soon fill your kitchen, making the wait all the more worth it. So stay tuned as we move on to the next step, baking our delicious briouats. Now let's get these beauties into the oven. As you've probably guessed by now, baking is an art of precision. And with our briouats, it's no different. The first thing you'll want to ensure is that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the sweet spot for baking briouats. 
a temperature that's high enough to get them beautifully golden and crispy, but not so high that they burn. Next, we're going to talk timing. This is where you need to be a bit vigilant. You'll want to bake these pastries for about 15 to 20 minutes. However, it's important to remember that not every oven is the same. Some may run a little hotter, some a little cooler. So it's crucial to keep an eye on your briowats as they bake. But how do you know when they're done? Well, here's the secret. You're looking for a golden brown color on the surface of the pastry. This color is a sign that the pastry has baked just enough to be crispy and flaky, but not overdone. You might also notice a delightful nutty aroma filling your kitchen. That's another telltale sign that your briowats are nearing perfection. When they're golden brown and crispy, you'll know your briowats are ready. Our briowats wouldn't be complete without a final touch of sweetness. Now as the briowats are still warm from the oven, we'll take our golden honey and drizzle it generously over each pastry. Don't be shy with it, this honey is what gives our briowats that signature Moroccan sweetness. Imagine the honey soaking into the warm pastry, infusing every bite with a luscious sweet flavor. Once you've given each briwat a good honey drizzle, it's time for the powdered sugar. This isn't just for decoration. The powdered sugar adds another layer of sweetness and gives a delightful contrast to the honey's stickiness. Lightly sprinkle the sugar over the honey-drizzled briwats, like a dusting of fresh snow. It's the perfect finishing touch, and just like that, you've added the final sweet touches to your Moroccan almond and honey briwats. You've infused them with all the traditional flavors and textures, right from your own kitchen. And there you have it, traditional Moroccan almond and honey briwats, right from your kitchen. Congratulations on creating this Moroccan delicacy. And just like that, you've journeyed through a unique culinary experience and crafted your very own almond and honey briwats, a traditional Moroccan treat that's as delightful to make as it is to savor. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've taken, a voyage through a symphony of flavors and textures. From gathering our ingredients, a delicate balance of almonds, honey, and the gentle warmth of cinnamon, we embarked on a journey that brought us closer to the heart of Moroccan cuisine. We prepared the almond filling, a process that required patience and precision, but resulted in a rich, sweet, and nutty heart for our briowates. Remember how we carefully ground the almonds, mixed them with the fragrant cinnamon, and sweetened the mixture with honey? That was the first step in bringing our treats to life. Next, we assembled the briowates, a step that called for a gentle hand and an eye for detail. The thin, delicate pastry needed to be folded just right, encapsulating the filling and creating the perfect pocket for our flavors to come together. Then, we baked our briowats, and the kitchen filled with a warm, inviting aroma that hinted at the deliciousness to come. The pastries turned a beautiful golden brown, and we knew they were ready to leave the oven and cool off for a bit. And finally, we added the final touch, a drizzle of honey and a sprinkle of ground almonds, a sweet and crunchy end to our culinary journey. So, there you have it. The journey to creating your homemade almond and honey briowates. I hope this inspires you to try this recipe at home and maybe even share your culinary adventures with others. Who knows, you might just inspire someone else to embark on their own culinary journey. Remember, cooking is an adventure, so don't be afraid to bring a taste of Morocco to your kitchen with these delicious almond and honey briowates. Happy cooking!